really helped lead the Seawolves defensive line. Salas takes the inbound pass. Valdemios pops it off to Williams. Dante Williams with a jump shot, no good. Jimmy Golden with a rebound in traffic, and he's fouled. At this rate, cancel your dinner plans. We're going to be here a while. Ronnie Harris will bring it in the front court for the Seawolves. He's picked up at the half court line by Williams. Phillips goes baseline. Flips it up with the right hand. No good. Williams is going to push it up for the Knights. Bad pass. Jimmy Golden comes up with it. Harris on the outside. Drives. Puts it up with the right hand. It's good, and he draws the foul. So Ronnie Harris attacks the rim. Gives the Seawolves the lead with a chance for the three-point play. Harris will try to complete the three-point play, and he does. So Ronnie Harris with the big game last night, trying to follow it up with a big game tonight. Pratt picked up in the backcourt, but the Amios finds Williams. From shot, no good. Golden with another rebound. Seawolves trying to push it up the floor. The Knights came into the game averaging about... Get Cochran on the travel. Averaging just over 76 points a game. Seawolves only average 68. Seawolves play a little more deliberately paced. On offense. will have a size advantage tonight. So Williams in the game for the Knights. Salas for three, no good. Golden another board. Bears in the front court gets a screen from Cochran. We're going to get Williams coming around the screen. Not a lot of contacts, but that's how they're calling it today. Phillips will inbound for the Seawolves. Jordan Fleck comes in. Fleck, a 6'4 junior out of Garden Grove. Cochran wants it on the block. He's working on Vermont. Backs him down, puts it up and in off the glass. Yvonne Furlon giving up quite a bit of size there to Cochran. Yvonne Furlon faces up on Cochran, the native of Croatia. Spins around him in the lane, can't get it to go. Fleck comes up with a loose ball, 9-5 Seawolves. Harris. As Nicholas to his left, instead backs it out. Wants a screen from Cochran. He's directing traffic. Phillips fumbles the pass, kicks it back out to Fleck. Cochran's got it again. Fleck for three. No good. Cochran with the rebound. Wild shot. Can't get it to go. Nicholas picks up the loose ball. Phillips for three in the corner, and it's good. Mason Phillips. Puts the Seawolves up by seven. So Cochran's getting good position. He's having trouble putting back some of the gimmies. Coach Vistaldo can't believe that call. He 
be a Nicholas on the foul. Second. That'll bring freshman Isaac Davidson into the game. Davidson had some big plays last night. Davidson, of course, native of New Zealand. Jimmy Golden back on the floor. Mason Phillips will get his first rest. Cochran still on the floor for the Seawolves. Free throw's good. So Pratt hits a pair. Seawolves narrowly escaping, escaping over and back call there. Harris managed to get his feet in the front court. Golden goes baseline, in traffic, flips it up, draws the foul. So Golden will hit the line for two. I had a really, really good look at that pass by Davidson to Harris. And it was really close to being over and back. In fact, I don't know how they didn't call it. Golden is a free throw. He's got three points to go with four rebounds. Nathan Maloney Benjamin. Benjamin makes his first appearance. Cochran will get a breather. And Golden hits a pair. He did a lot of work at the free throw line last night. Kendall Brown in the game. For the Knights. Kick it out to Pratt. Pratt. Pull up, long two is good. Knight's going to pick him up in the backcourt. Fleck brings it up front. They're going to call Kobe Williams. They are calling it with very little contact. A lot of hand checking. 16 fouls apiece here. Harris for Davidson. Davidson drives on Pratt. Puts it up with the right hand. It's a wild shot. No good. Ball's loose. Okanime on the drive. One man fast break. Gets it done. Split two defenders there. Nice play. By the junior out of Carson. Maloney Benjamin fight for position. to call Davidson. Clearing out with the offhand. <laughs> Davidson's first. We've got a media timeout. It's four. Then they'll end the year, the calendar year that is, against Pomona and East Bay on December 30th and 31st at Santa Rosa Junior College. So we're back out of here. See Wolves pick up in the backcourt. Okanime working on Harris. Pratt finds Williams in the corner. Okanime pulls up, kicks it out to Pratt. Pratt for three. Front iron no good. Maloney Benjamin gets the board. So the Sea Wolves playing it off the glass. They got a big size advantage. See if they try to use that. Find Maloney Benjamin down low. Fleck with a long two. It's good. So Fleck with the bucket. Seabulls up by five. Okanime working on Harris. Gets a screen. Radovich back on the floor for the Knights. Radovich has got it working on Davidson. An international fair there. Maloney Benjamin with the rebound. Golden out in front. 
wisely going to try to wait for numbers. Nice play by Williams. Just knocked it into the backcourt. Maloney Benjamin waits for the double team, kicks it out. They swing it. Golden wants to reverse it. They got it to Harris in the other corner. Cross court to Golden. Golden has to put it up. No good. Davidson hustles for the offensive rebound, finds Golden. Golden flips it up and in. But they're going to call that an offensive foul. Apparently. Eighth team foul for the Seawolves. Marshawn McMahon in the game. Draws a foul on Harris. Coach Viscaldo letting him know of his disappointment with the way they're calling the game. Could be a man at the line. The one and one hits the front end. Southpaw earns a second. Benjamin rebounds the second. Seawolves up by four. Harris through traffic. Golden in the corner goes baseline. They're going to get McMahon on the bump. The rate they're calling this, I don't know if we're going to have any players left by the end of the game. Golden will step to the line. Hits the front end of the one and one, or it's a second. Golden hits a pair. He's got six points. Nice first half here for Golden. Six points, four boards, and a steal. Seawolves up by six, 18 to 12. Salas picks it back out. Radovich goes baseline, loses control of the ball, and that keeps it from making that shot. Mason Phillips back in the game. Fleck drives, kicks it off his own foot. It'll be... Knights basketball. McMahon working on Harris. Seawolves in the zone. Radovich working on Davidson, puts it in with the left hand. Radovich, native of Serbia, with a nice bucket. Phillips, they swing it to Harris. Harris, a reluctant outside shooter. Made a couple big shots last night. Davidson, in traffic, kicks it out to Harris. Wide open for three. It's good. So Ronnie Harris puts the Seawolves up by seven. Biggest lead of the game. Okanime on the drive. Nice pivot, flips it up, no good. Maloney Benjamin changing shots down there. Fleck goes baseline, in traffic, flips it up with the right hand, and it's good. Jordan Fleck with a nice bucket. He's got four. Seals up by nine. Over 
over McMahon. McMahon goes baseline. Looks like he thought he was going to get some contact. Didn't come. No call. Siebel's coming the other way, and Harris puts it up and in. So Harris has got eight. Siebel's biggest lead of the game is 11. Well, Amios gets Maloney Benjamin off his feet, but he recovers for the block. Maloney Benjamin with the rebound. Let's see if they can get the big man the ball. He's got it down low. It's all wrapped up. Yeah. Okanime on the reach. He thought it would be a held ball. Three. It'll be Maloney Benjamin at the line. It's the first, earns the second. Way short on the second, but he picks up his own rebound and throws it down. So if you're gonna miss a free throw, you might as well hustle and pick up the loose ball and get it done. Radovich is a block by Malona Benjamin. Get the Twin Towers out there for the Seawolves, but Harris throws it away. Salas going the other way. Puts it up with the left hand. It's good. So Seawolves miss an opportunity to really get some momentum there. Cochran fights off Pratt, who came from the weak side. So Cochran and Maloney Benjamin on the floor at the same time. Rarely happens. Harris with a screen from Cochran. Cochran rolls. Cochran is fouled on his way up. He'll shoot two. The Seawolves have the size advantage. Trying to put it to good use. But Maloney Benjamin showing us what he's capable of. Affecting the game at both ends. It's a big at least one big block last night. Changed a couple shots. Khalid Johnson back on the floor. And Cochran hits the second, so the seat was up by 13. Over si just over six minutes to go here in the first half. Working on Johnson. Radovich. He's back to the basket. Kicks it out. Wants it again. So they're going to get an offensive foul on Radovich. That's the second on Radovich. I don't know if I've ever seen that one called. Just looked like he got rid of it. Reset his post position. You'd never see that called. Phillips behind the three point line. They swing it to Fleck. Fleck, some room on the baseline, drives, kicks it to Johnson, out to Phillips for three. It's good. Mason Phillips with his second three. Radovich in the corner. Seawolves have doubled up. The Knights, it's 32-16. Pratt loses a dribble. Finds the Amios. Nice spin move. Puts it up. It's good. Smooth play there. By the native of Granada in Spain. Knocked away. Dante Williams on the break. Puts it up and lays it in. Williams. 
Davidson will come into the next whistle for the Seawolves. Phillips looking for Cochran. Cochran's got it. Backing down Radovich. And they're going to get him for the travel. So Maloney Benjamin's going to get a deserved rest. Ian Fleck will head to the sidelines. Davidson and Golden back in the game. Seabulls pick up in the backcourt. Pratt advances it to Dante Williams. Freshman out of Compton. Cross court to Valdez 4-3. No good. And Phillips will ro roll out of bounds. So under four to go, Seawolves up by 12. We've got a media timeout. We'll be right back. Underneath their own basket. Ronnie Harris back in the game for Sonoma State. Harris picked up by Williams. Phillips goes baseline, picks up the dribble. Golden, head fake, drives, puts it up in traffic, no good, gets his own rebound, and is fouled on the second shot attempt. So Golden. Last call of number 22, Chris Salas. Salas with his second first. Showing a talent for getting to the free throw line. Jimmy Golden at the line, It's good. Golden's got seven points. Make it eight. Golden hits a pair. Seagull's up by 14. Demios drops it off for Dante Williams. Williams picks up his dribble. Needs a little help. Kendall Brown offers some assistance. And then Dante Williams fumbles the pass out of bounds. Seawolves get it over, get it on the turnover. Harris will bring it in for the Seawolves. Luke Cochran back on the floor. Davidson at the top of the keys. Turns. Golden goes baseline. In traffic. Gets, call, gets the call. We'll head to the line. We'll be going for his seventh and eighth attempts at the free throw line. Stays perfect. Golden hits them both. Golden's got 10. Seagull's up by 16. Biggest lead of the game. Seawolves pick it up in the backcourt. The Knights shoot just 32%. Seawolves over 60% from the field. Drive no good. Cochran with the rebound. Seawolves out rebounding him. 19 to 5. Golden had a good look at three. He's a little hesitant from distance right now. Cochran. And they're going to call Cochran for what they called earlier. They're trying to call it even both ways. In most games aren't actually fouls, but. I'll bring Maloney 
Benjamin off the bench. That's two for Cochran. And they're going to get Fleck. Foul on Fleck. Benemé will hit a line for two. First free throw is no good. Two oh six to go here in the first half. Seawolves lead by sixteen. Second free throw is good. Harris brings it into the front court. Fleck in front of the Knights bench. Harris comes around a screen. Lonely Benjamin being fronted. Golden goes baseline, puts it up. Offensive foul. Like I said, cancel your dinner plans. This one's going to take a while. I need to cancel your breakfast plans. 149 to go here in the first half. Kendall Brown for three. Back iron no good. Fleck with the rebound. Ronnie Harris in the front court. Ronnie Harris on the drive with the left hand. No good. There you get Maloney Benjamin going off over the back. That's a good call. First on Nathan Maloney Benjamin, Sebastopol native. Good throw, no good. Good and Coach Fiscaldo is going to go upside out with 130 to go, 132 to go in the half. Seawolves is up 36 22. Jackson Guion on the floor for the Seawolves. His first appearance of the evening. Guion. Davidson nearly travels, keeps that pivot foot. One Davidson down low, can't find him. Seven on the shot clock. Harris gets the screen. Takes it out for Davidson. He's got to put it up. Goes in, it comes out, tough break. Okinine finds Brown. Under a minute to go here in the first half. It's Pratt to his left. Maloney Benjamin blocks the jump shot. Seawolves. On the break. Numbers aren't there, so they hold it up. And Flex not looking, and the ball's thrown into the night bench. Seawolves burn a opportunity to expand on this lead. Come on, trying to drive. Puts it up to hook shot. Gets it over Maloney Benjamin, but Brown gets the offensive rebound. And he's fouled on his way up.
just a hair under nine seconds to go here in the first half. Brown to the line, shooting two. First one's good. So plenty of time for the Seawolves to get a good look at a shot here. Harris in the front court. Harris goes behind the back. Got to put it up. Not going to get a shot off. So at the half, Seawolves. Stumble a little bit there in the last minute. It's still up by 12. Heading to the second. And we're ready to go. Same starting five on the floor for the Seawolves. Looking for Cochran on the block. They've got him. Radovich. Standing his ground, Cochran in trouble. Finds Phillips in the corner. Nicholas over the top to Johnson. Johnson for three. It's good. Billy Johnson with a three. He's up by 15. Pratt. Back from Waba. Pratt, long two is good. Knights are going to need to find that stroke. They're going to get back in this one. Nicholas hands it off to Phillips. Golden in the corner. Dribbles it off his foot, ends up in Nicholas's hands. Pretty good position, puts it up, no good. Nifanime into the front court. And Waba for three, no good. Johnson picks up the long rebound. And he's hip checked. Waba call for the foul, that's his third. First team. Kendall Brown makes an early appearance here. It's going to be for Salas. Salas, leading scorer for the Knights. Early in the year here. Cochran up by the three-point line. Golden goes baseline, puts it up. No good. Cochran look for the tip. Couldn't get it to go. Olivia Mills. Lions Brown. Okanime. Over to Pratt. Back to Okanime in the paint. Puts it up with the left hand. Nice drive. By Uchina Okanime. So, lead. Down to 11. Phillips for three. It's long. Brown with a long rebound. Knights can make this a single-digit game right here. But it's fumbled out of bounds by Radovich. Seawolf basketball. Cochran on the wrong wavelength there. Cochran throws that one out of bounds. Threw it to the corner. Golden had left for the basket. It's going to be night basketball. Herman Pratt will inbound. in the front court. Pratt. Drops it off to Radovich. Radovich. Valdinios. Pratt open for three. It's an air ball. Cochran with the rebound. Check 
the windows. Seals one of four early here in the second half. Cochran wants it. Missed the chance. Phillips goes baseline, puts it up. Off the glass and in. So Phillips got eight points. Seals up by 13. Gets it in the front court. Took a little doing, but it got done. Ten on the shot clock. Amios drives. Flips it up. Ends up in Pratt's hands. Pratt, baseline jump shot. No good. Cochran with another rebound. He's got five. Nicholas. Dangerous pass intercepted by Okanime. So the Seawolves passing, been a little sloppy here in the second. And Johnson rips it away from Okanime. Johnson drives, and he's fouled by Brown. Johnson will head on the line. After our first media timeout of the second half. We're going to call that before the shot. Seems like a shooting foul to most people's eyes. But we've got a hold before the inbound pass. We get Dante Williams on the call. Second foul. Phillips in the corner. No look to Johnson in the corner for three. Wide open. It's good. So, Khalid Johnson with his second three-pointer in the second half. If he can add that to his game, he's going to be a dangerous player. In the past, he's just been left open to shoot. Keep the defense honest. Dante Williams. Valdez Mios, who drives, scoop shot, off the glass, it's good. Phillips. Drives, you're going to say no shot. Get a college continuation and NBA continuation, two very different interpretations of the rules. Phillips open in the corner for three, no good. Philippe Johnson fights for the rebound. They're going to call a foul on Kendall Brown. It's already the 15th foul on Academy of Art. Phillips to his right. Finds Golden. Deep three. No good. Dante Williams with the rebound. He's going to push it up himself. Runs into traffic. They're going to get Johnson on the reach. He's going to bring Ronnie Harris off the bench. Johnson's got three. Radovich in the paint, spins, kicks it out to Brown. Good close out by Cochran. Radovich stepped out of bounds with the ball. So the Seawolves catch a break. It's going to be Harris bringing it up for the Seawolves. They lead by 14. Gets a screen from Cochran. 
Cochran in the paint, flips it over the left hand, can't get it to go. Fabio Mios saves it. Knights coming the other way. And Dante Williams flies through the defense there. The numbers weren't there. He made up for it, though. And Kobe Williams strips Nicholas to the Knights. You can cut it to 10 here. They're going to get Harris reaching in. Cochran and Jimmy Golden are going to head the sidelines. Nathan Maloney, Benjamin, and Jordan Fleck. We'll check in. Williams in trouble. Bombs it up. Daniel Brown bails him out. Kobe Williams. Saradovich, who picks up that pivot foot and travels. So the Knights have had a couple of opportunities to get it to single digits. And haven't been able to do so. Nicholas. They swing it to Fleck. Fleck gets a screen from Maloney Benjamin. Looking for position down low. He's going to reverse it, see if they can find him. Four on the shot clock. Harris is going to have to hurry. Finds Fleck. Fleck puts it up and in for three. So Jordan Fleck's got seven. Siebel's back up by 15. Salas in the front court. Drops up for Brown, who's fouled on his way up. He runs into Maloney Benjamin. Send Brown to the line for two. Free throw is good. Cochran and Davidson will check in. Maloney Benjamin and Nicholas will head to the sideline. No good. Cochran cleans up the boards. Harris. All right. Phillips and Davidson foul on the entry pass for Phillips. His third foul on Brown. Harris picks up his dribble. Finds Fleck. Got to hold away from the ball. Gonna get Yvonne Furlong. Freshman out of Croatia. We got our under 12. Have, we have had far fewer fouls here in the second. We might be able to reschedule those breakfast plans. Salas in the front court. 
Dante Williams. Surveys the defense. Drives. Puts it up off the glass. It's good. So Dante Williams making some things happen for the Knights here in the second half. Once again, they've got it to 12. They haven't gotten closer than that in the second half. Fleck. Back to Harris. Seawolves. Looking for a little bit of a spark here. They've got a little stagnant. Waba called for the foul. He's fourth. So the Seawolves will be shooting free throws. It's really how they got back into the game last night. And a commitment to get to the rim. See Ronnie Harris. Me is only free throw on this one. That one crawls over the rim. Pierce has got nine. Make it ten. He was back up by 14. So the Knights looking for a couple of touchdowns here. Salas being hounded by Fleck. Leah Mios picks up the dribble, finds Salas. Salas lead scorer on the season for the Knights. Can't really get going in this one. And Fleck with the block shot. And Dante Williams going to get called for the reach. So we will walk to the other end. And Luke Cochran will shoot a one and one. Cochran, one of three from the free throw line. Big southpaw. Native of Loomis. Misses the front end. The Seawolves miss an opportunity there. Williams gets a screen. Kendall Brown on the baseline spins. Can't get by Cochran. Davidson with the rebound. Golden drops it off for Harris. Flag in the front court. Davidson at the free throw line. Bounce pass, sloppy pass. Ends up in Valdemios' hands. He's trying to get it done himself. Puts it in off the glass. Nice play. By the Spanish flash. Golden drops it off for Cochran, gets it back, flips it up and in. Jimmy Golden It's the tough runner there. Seawolves back up by 14. Harris making it difficult for Salas to get in the front court. And they're going to get Fleck on the bump. Second foul called on Fleck this evening. Dante Williams will take it out for the Knights. Furlon. Not sure if he's related to Associate Athletic Director Brandon Bronson as that one's knocked out of bounds by Harris. But he is a native of Croatia. Brandon will probably claim him if he puts up 20. We would ask the Croatian sensation himself if he ever showed up on a Saturday night. Radovich kicks it out. Salas on the drive, and he will draw the foul and get the bucket. That one did a dance on the rim and fell in. So Salas. 
his first bucket in the second half. Davidson on the foul. So Sal is going to try to complete the three-point play. He does. It's an 11-point game. So Sonoma State has had some opportunities to put this one away, and they just can't quite shake them. Leaving the possibility there for an Academy of Art comeback. We're under nine minutes to go, and this one seals up by 11. Fleck, pull-up jump shot is good. Jordan Fleck. A nice shot. He's got nine off the bench. Dante Williams calls out the play. Adios. South, they drop it off for Brown. Brown kicks it out. Adios in traffic. Gets the bucket and the foul. So the Knights starting to make some things happen here. Third foul on Jimmy Golden. Eleven is as close as they've gotten here in the second half. But now it's ten. The Knights put the pressure on in the backcourt. Golden finds Cochran. Cochran sets the screen for Fleck. Harris for three. It's short. Brown gets the rebound. Knights can get this one in single digits here. Had a few opportunities in the second half. Haven't been able to capitalize. Salas with a good look at a three. Can't get it to go. Golden with the rebound. It's sixth. Maloney Benjamin will check it at the whistle. Along with Armani Nicholas. Fleck drives away from the screen. They're going to call a block. Looks like they might change it, though. Gonna get a travel. That's gonna send Coach Viscaldo on a little bit of a walk. That was the uh, staff DJ over there. You know they do rent these facilities out on the weekend, but the rave doesn't start till after this game ends. So don't worry. Dante Williams in the front court. Salas has got it. If he could get going, that could mean bad news for the Seawolves. Radovich with the right hand. And it's an eight-point game. Johnson directing traffic. Nicholas gets the screen from Maloney Benjamin. Fleck open for three. No good. Valdez Mios with the rebound. And Valdez Mios takes it all the way. So it is a six point game. And the pass is Aaron. It goes out of bounds. Jimmy Golden's going to check out. Mason Phillips back on the floor. Seawolves looking for the winning combination here. The second half has not been pretty. 16 turnovers in the game for the Seawolves. 
to seven. And Maloney Benjamin changes the shot, but Radovich is there for the board, and it is a four-point game. And Pratt comes up and nearly steals it. Fleck recovers. Seawolves. Looking for a, a good look here. And Johnson throws it away. The last few possessions have not been pretty for the Seawolves. So 5.21 to go. It's a four-point game. It's going to be Academy of Art Basketball. 5.21 to go. It's a four-point game. What looked like it could be a blowout. Looks like we might be going down to the wire here. Kendall Brown on the baseline. Flips it up. No good. Fleck comes up with a rebound. Mason Phillips on the left wing. Numbers aren't there. He nearly loses it. I'm awaiting confirmation, but I think we have a CCAA volleyball, women's volleyball tournament champion. And Johnson fumbles it out of bounds. That's 18 turnovers for the Seawolves. Pratt to his right. Seawolves hanging on to that four-point lead. Brown on the baseline. Out to Williams. Williams hesitates. Can't get it to go. It's going to be Seawolf basketball. Last touch by Radovich. San Bernardino did outlast Chico State in women's volleyball in the CCAA tournament final. So they will get the automatic berth. Not that they weren't going to be in the NCAA tournament anyway, but. Fleck on the drive, spins, keeps the pivot foot, flips it up, and in Jordan Fleck. He went Kobe on it. Seals get their first bucket in a while. Let's let's check this out here. Last bucket was five minutes ago in game time. Also by Jordan Fleck. The Seals still lead by six. Pratt in the paint, flips it up and in. Herman Pratt with a circus shot. Four point game, just over three minutes to go. Lee Johnson. And Pratt knocks it out of Mason Phillips' hands. Phillips trying to recover. Lines Fleck, 10 on the shot clock. And they're going to get a... They're going to get a foul about 28 feet from the basket. And Kendall Brown on the bump. Fingers crossed. be a Starbucks nearby we can kind of you know siphon their internet off. Fleck hits the free throw. Fleck's been about all the offense for the last six minutes of game time. Second free throw no good. Seawolves lead is five under three minutes to go. Picked up by Maloney Benjamin out of the three-point line. And Golden knocks it away. Johnson can't come up with it. So the 
Seawolves almost had the breakaway there. Williams, step back jump shot, no good. Maloney Benjamin with the rebound. He thought about the home run pass. The Hail Mary to Nicholas. Probably thought better of it. Johnson in front of the Seawolf bench. Frank Golden, Maloney Benjamin underneath the basket. Puts up with the right hand, it's good. So Seawolves take advantage of their size difference. Academy of Arts going to call a timeout. It's a seven-point game. Salas will inbound. We'll find Dante Williams. They kick it out. Williams, they swing it to Valdemios. He drives. Brown in the corner for three. No good. Salas comes flying in. Trying to find Brown. He throws it out of bounds. 1.36 to go. Seawolves trying to tie Cal State San Bernardino for the tournament championship. Not sure if there's like a golden bell involved or anything or a boot. I don't know. Oh wait, never mind. There's a golden basketball. It's a fine looking trophy. I'll ask you, what's the tiebreaker, Mr. Lobey? Co champs. They'll have to send it by armored car between universities half the year, one half the year at the other. It's going to be Jimmy Golden stepping to the line. 116 to go. Golden misses his first free throw of the evening. He's 8 9. Second, so it's an eight-point game, so Knights are going to have to hurry. And Lava for Dante Williams. He crosses over, drops it off for Valdemios, who's fouled on the drive. At the line. Misses the front end. And it's loose and Fleck tips it away. So Jordan Fleck on the drive. He's fouled. No, no call. Shot's no good, but Golden's there for the rebound. So it's a 10-point game. Golden picks up his 13th point. Seawolves don't need to shoot anymore. Salas is going to foul. Golden will go to the line. Good for Golden. Go 
Nolan misses a pair. Dante Williams on the drive, and no call there. Brian, Coach Barnes is livid. After all the things they've called in this one, how they didn't call that. Hey, Barnes is going to get a technical foul. I don't blame him, though. They called about 12 hand checks in the first half. There was a lot of contact there. It's going to be Nicholas at the line. Is good. Nicholas misses the second. The Seawolves up by 11, 17 seconds ago. Seawolves just need to inbound the ball. Instead of calling for the towel, they're going to try to clean this up with their feet. A little sweat. The free throw line. Golden will back, head back to the line. Shooting his 13th and 14th free throw attempts of the evening. First is good. Golden's got 16 points. Gets them both. So he ends his night with 17 points. Noah Everly's going to check in. 15 seconds to go. Salas for three is no good. It's going to be Urban Knight's balls. Flick hits that one out of bounds. Nine seconds to go. Barring a miracle, Seawolves will improve to three and one. And Maloney Benjamin call for the foul. It's probably less contact on that one than the other one. Barnes just shakes his head. Academy of Arts, like I said, barring a miracle, will fall to one and three. Take a free throw is good. And that's going to do it. So the Seawolves made it interesting. But they hang on.